Let's talk about how to modulate from one key to another. In particular, we'll go from the key of C to get to any of the other 11 keys. First, we'll talk through it in the circle of fifths, or I like to call the circle of fourths. And what you'll need is to get to a five chord, a dominant chord of the new key. So we've got to go from the key of C to the five of that new key, F, B flat, G, D, It'll also work with uh, some of these distantly related keys. But uh, in order to, to get to the 5 of that new key, we have to find a way to get to 2, 5, 1. Remember this? 2, 5, 1 is the powerful force, the predominant to the dominant to the tonic. So dominant of uh, F would be a C. Dominant of B flat would be an F. Dominant of D flat is an A flat. Dominant of G flat is a D flat. I don't know that you'd ever want to go from C down to B, but uh, the 5 would be an F sharp. And then, uh, of course, the key of D is an A, and the key of G, it would be a, a D. So that's the 5 chord, 5-7 uh, chord in particular, of each of those keys. So what would be the 2 of each of those keys? Well, G minor would be of F, and C minor would be the 2 of B flat. Uh, the 2 of G would be A minor going to D to G and then an E minor goes to A goes to D. Alright, so far all we've done is to identify what the 2 and the 5 are of the new key. How we get from C to another key though is to find a common chord. What would be common between the key of C and the next one? Uh, well, going to G, it would be the A minor. Going to D, it would be an E minor, because those are diatonic to the key of C. Going to F, there would be the D minor, or the two chord. And going to B flat, if you go with the five of C minor, it could be the G. So, anyway, if you'll have to spend some more time reflecting on that, but that gets you to four of the 11 other keys. So, that's a good start. Now, that was with a common chord, we could also get to the next four keys by finding a common tone. In the case of E flat, that common tone is a G. In the case of A flat, the top common tone would be a C. It would be an E that would work for either the key of A or the key of E. We'll come back to talk about that, but it would be function as this pivot, simply using the common note and shifting the chord underneath it. It's got a unique sound. Uh, the next thing for us to talk about is how to go up a half step. And that would be to step down from a C to a B flat in the bass and make it an A flat 7, which takes you up to D flat. Very common way to go up a half step. You go up a whole step, it would be staying diatonic at first. Half step down to an A, up to D. So if you walk down, a whole step and a two whole steps that takes you up a half step if you walk down your first pitch is just a half step down then you can go up a whole step and remember whole step in the bass leads to a half step going up and so there you see C to B flat to A flat takes you up C to B to A becomes the 5 of D so that gets you to a couple more keys now, let's uh, talk about this from, uh, well, if you use the Neapolitan, then that could take you to the G flat. Boy, that's complicated. You seldom want to go a tritone. Let's talk about it from a different angle. We've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six in the diatonic key of C. So a two would be a D minor, three is an E minor, five is a G, six is an A minor. We were saying those were like the two chord or something that's leading you into the new key. So let's just follow this in the key. We're going from C up to F. We find first a common chord, and that's a two. And then from there, we can go to G minor, to C7, to F. So the two chord in C is a six chord in F. And then you go two, five, one. 
that's a little bit uh, clunky when you could go straight there. But uh, if you're looking for a common chord, that's what you have to do. To get to the key of G, you would find the three chord in the key of C becomes the two of the key of D. I'm sorry, I think I said G. Two, which then goes to five, which then goes to one, which is the new D. So one, three pivots to become a two, five, one in D. Then uh, if we went to six, that becomes a two in the key of G, then a D seven, G, so that's your two, five, one, started with a six chord, which is the pivot, the A minor. Um, you pivot uh, going to the uh, key of B flat's a little bit odd, uh, but uh, just bear with me. If I use a five chord and it's a G, then uh, that becomes a 5 of 2, which then leads to F5 and 1 in B-flat. That was too many steps. And yet it sounds just fine. The whole point is that we would find some kind of a pivot that belongs in both keys so that we can start in the key of C, and it doesn't sound odd until we tip our hand and show that we're heading toward a different key. That's the whole point. In the case of chromatic thirds, we'll talk about this from a slightly different uh, perspective. We have a uh, chromatic third relationship. That would be the E, the E flat, the A flat, the A. These are all a chromatic third away. Why well, We call it a chromatic third relationship because the E is four sharps away from the key of C. E flat is three flats away. A is three sharps away. A flat is four flats away. They are distantly related keys. And yet, because they have a common pitch, a common note, uh, you can shift from one key to another. So, a C chord. C, E, G, one, three, five. If you take the five of this chord, the C, it becomes the three of E flat. You've heard this kind of thing in Broadway music a lot. All right, likewise, the third can shift to either being the fifth of A or the root of E, and the C can become the third of A flat. So we just slide right from one key to the other, but because we had that common tone, it uh, doesn't sound abrupt. So those are two very common ways, the common chord and the common tone. Uh, the other thing is what I call the bass walk down in order to be able to go up a half step. Now I talked about the whole to the half. Just bear with me and let's try it again. We, If you walk down two whole steps with the bass, that is then the five of just a half step higher. And this is the standard way of getting from one key to another. happens a lot. We use it in congregational singing, at least if we're not uh, using guitar-oriented uh, chords. If you're using a guitar, you can still use this one quite easily, which is to walk down diatonically, half-step, and then to the five of the new key, especially if you use a, a suspension so that you don't give that C sharp until the last possible moment. So that's how to go up a half step, how to go up a whole step. And with that, we've really talked about how to get to a, a, from C to 10 of the 11 different keys. And I'm saying you just never want to go from down a half step. You'll never see music that uh, does that. There's a way to get there that's not too abrupt, not too odd, but uh, it's kind of depressing, at least in congregational music. So uh, you won't see it too often. Well, there you have it, a way to get from the key of C to all those other uh, keys. See if you can do that on your own now.